We'll start today now that it's ready. It's ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, this is Nicole, the healthy pet. And today we're talking about Kong a little bit, but more generally about toys and things to keep your dog entertained during the summer. Uh, this does apply during the winter as well, but the summertime is when people really will give their dogs toys to play with outside. So I wanted to address different options that there are available. I like to start with soft toys. The soft toys are the most popular type of toy, and these are also the most popular type of toy for your dog to destroy. Soft toys in general are considered interactive toys, meaning you're there when your dog is playing with them. So if they're playing with them individually, just sitting there going to town on the squeaker like my dog does, or like Ian here with yep. his dogs, he plays tug of war with his dogs, and these are some examples of dog toys that you can play tug with if you don't want to use a rope toy. You are with your dog watching them play with any of these options. Once you find that your dog is now at the point where they're like, oh, this was a lot of fun, now I want to kill it and destroy it and throw away the toy, that's when you take away the soft toys and switch to a Kong or switch to a bone. This is a, frog, a raw frozen uh, beef kneecap. Pretty big, huge, decent size. You can give this to, even to small dogs. So, again, recap. Soft toys are just for when you're watching your dog. Don't generally let them go off with it because that's when they're going to destroy it in like two to five minutes. And you know what's it? Swallowing foam. Yeah, and there's all the polyester fill, or sometimes there's the actual squeaker, and then the squeaker has the little teeny tiny squeaky part, and you know, if you have small kids or even your dog chewing any of that and swallowing, it's not always pleasant for their digestive system. Some dogs big enough passes right through. And then other dogs, it can take a little bit more time and effort. Yeah. Anything else that you'd add to the soft toys? I just like something that I can, like you said, interact with. You know, really be on one side of the toy, wear them out, and kind of make it a, a two-way thing rather than just giving them something to run off with. I like the one-on-one -on -one time I, that something like this gets me with my guys. Yeah, and then after they get that one-on-one -on -one time and then your dog's like, okay, I want to be alone. That's again when you give them the frozen bone or you give them a Kong toy that's been stuffed with some yummy goody treats. Yeah. Cool. Okay. So going on to the Kong with the yummy goody treats, you can fill it with different things. Uh, the Kong does a peanut butter. You can use your own peanut butter. And on his kitchen, we like these little cups because you can control the amount of moisture that you put in as opposed to using canned food. Uh, although if you use a lot of loaf, style canned food to stuff the Kong, you can use that too. Um, you can stuff it with the dog's kibble, you can stuff it with treats, you can stuff it with goat's milk that you throw into the freezer, bone broth, any number of things that you can fill this sucker with and throw it in the freezer and have it as a nice cool treat for your dog on a summer's day. Yes. <laughs> so then, those are some different options on how to use the Kong and what you can stuff it with. Um, as I was saying, that you can use the goat's milk or the bone broth to put into the Kong to freeze it. Uh, generally what I do when I'm going to do that so that it doesn't spill out everywhere is I'll cover the bottom hole with like a saran wrap up to the top so that it holds it onto a cookie sheet like a little half jelly roll cookie sheet so I can stick it in my freezer and then I'll fill it from the top. You can always go from the other side too but I find it's a little bit wobblier and I just have a funnel <laughs> and I can funnel it all in there to freeze those kind of treats and to give my dog to, to chew out the insides and they go to town on that. And do you have anything to add as far as I'm, I might have missed it but I, I do a lot of the Honest Kitchen stuff and just kind of make a paste out of it. I know Honest Kitchen is really high quality food so I don't mind when they get a little bit more of this and then just add a little bit of water so it's kind of a paste and mm -hmm. the Yeah, so this thing that you can control the amount of moisture that's in here yeah. and make it more or less diluted than what the directions say to get the consistency that you're looking for. So use it in a Kong or use it as a food top or whichever route you're going with. I have a lot better than peanut butter. Yeah. Peanut butter can be a little bit higher in fat if your dog is uh, maybe watching their weight a little bit more. The, the Honest Kitchen is a good option. Okay, so that went over the Kong. Some other fun toys for outside are the Chuck It series. So they have the water toys that will float if you go to the lake or if you have a pool. Uh, they have their, obviously, their regular old Chuck, chuck It. And this you 
throw the ball, you got how it goes, chases it. It's pretty awesome, especially because you don't ever actually have to touch the ball to get it, and dogs can get ball, the, the balls like slimy and gross, and then, so then you have to like, argue with your dog to get the ball back, but if they learn, drop the ball, then I'll pick it up and throw it again, this makes it a lot easier and more convenient. Uh, they do also make the chuck it in different sizes and lengths, so if you want the full-size ball with the shorty handle, if you want the full-size length with a little teeny tiny ball for smaller dogs, they even have a bigger dog version, so you got a golden retriever where the small ball gets lost in their mouth, the big ball's a nice option, so lots of different choices here so that you can play fetch with your dog. Yeah, they're totally fun, especially at the dog park, and if you don't have a great arm, it's a good oh, way to I launch it. Get your dog running. Yeah, I used to take my retriever to um, frisbee golf courses that would allow off leash dogs. And when there wasn't anybody playing on the course, I would just let my dog have fun. And then when people were walking around on the course, then her and I would go to a different hole and she would just have a ton of fun. So those are different options, but you gotta check with your community, see what the rules are for leash versus unleashed pets. Um, the park that I took her to was great for that. So I loved the chuck it for that. Uh, okay, so for on those rainy days when you gotta have your dog inside, there's puzzle toys. Puzzle toys are a lot of fun because, again, they're interactive toy. This is not something where it's going to babysit your dog. These things are usually solved within half an hour, as short as five minutes, depending on how your dog learns and figures it out but they're still fun to watch your dog do and with all these different choices you can put treats under this one this one this one and that one and let your dog pull out all of them trying to find it or you can put a treat underneath every single one so it's just like happy day um, and you don't even have to do treats for everything you can again use kibble and you can use this as a way to feed your dog their food so if your dog has a tendency to eat way too fast this is a nice way to slow it down, but give them uh, a little bit of activity. There are other styles. We've probably got like five or six different styles uh, just from the this brand, but Kong also has different types of tilter things um, and different food dispensers to go with the challenge level that works best for your dog and your time on how much time you have to actually set it all up. Uh, but how these work is you know that one pulls out and they pull it out with their mouth then they have to use their nose or their mouth to move it along the track and pull it out so this is one of the more challenging from that standpoint again we have some that are just a circle and they just wobble it around and they get the food out so whatever challenge level works for you and your pet there is a toy that will accommodate accommodate their speed uh, the last thing, I've actually done a video on this before a long time ago. So this is another way to slow your dog down when they're eating kibble. And it's still another little puzzle interactive toy. So when you put their kibble, you spread their kibble out on the food and then they have to like root around and snuffle around to get the food uh, to eat their dinner. And you know, depending on how much you get into it, you can move the little tenderlies around to get the kibble really good in there. I know that it drives my dog nuts using this kind of thing. Um, I give my dog raw food, but I do give her different types of treats and freeze-dried treats, and letting her get in there, she's just like going bonkers trying to get these treats out. It's kind of funny to torture my dog with, with treats. I have a couple of hounds, and it's something like that's really fun for them because it gives them an opportunity to sniff things out. Mm -hmm. They love it. Yeah, so knowing your dog and knowing their breed, but obviously food-motivated dogs will love this in a very frustratingly fun way. <laughs> uh, and it's machine washable, so if it does get any sort of nastiness, gunkiness, lots of slobber and love that's been given to it, you can just shake out whatever crumblies are in there and then throw it in the wash. So this is a nice fun toy. So those are different options for the spring and summer as we're coming up. Again, Frozen bones, these are our best friend. These are good even in the winter, uh, but during the summer, people will give these to their dog, tell them to go out in the yard, have fun. Memorial Day is coming up, Fourth of July is coming up, cal um, lots of cookouts. So these are a good babysitter for your dog, obviously. Know how your dog chews. You don't want your first experience with a bone to be on a day when you're not really paying attention. But these are, again, knowing your dog, are great babysitters. And then uh, just knowing how to use the soft toys as an interactive toy and then switching to a Kong or a Bone once it's time for your dog to be on his own time. Do you have any other? Yeah. Um, you know, it's 
been pretty hot the past couple days. It's only going to get warmer. We do have some cooling pads and stuff too while your dog's outside. Mm -hmm. you know, something cool for them to sit on, make sure they're not overheating. And some outdoor kind of water bottles and uh, water bowls and that sort of stuff too. Yeah, when I would take my retriever uh, to the, the to the frisbee golf course, I had my little fanny pack. I had my little poop bag, my little treats. Maybe we were kind and of Oh, yeah, oh, definitely. Right. And it has all my water bottles, so my water bottle, and my water bottle for my dog. It was, it was pretty, pretty that awesome. Much. Oh yeah, yeah it, it looked good. So the, you can always make things work and adjust to your needs. So yeah, yeah. that's what we're here for. Yeah, come talk to us if you have questions. So remember, a healthy pet. Your dog loves you. We love your dog, and we hope to see you both in soon. Thanks. Uh, no, don't hit that.